Hello and welcome to the Easy Solution Systems tutorial videos. I'm Jesse Brown and we'll be going through the installation, user settings and frequently asked questions. Right, so to begin, we choose support and click on Retail Man POS version 2.7.40. We right click the download and choose show in folder and this way we can run as administrator as some systems it won't work. Here I am choosing to do the default which is on the C drive, the Windows drive. Um, you can choose to install anywhere you would like, but I'm going to choose the default. And again, you can rename, but I will choose the default. And you can choose to select or deselect these, it doesn't matter. I'll do both. And install. Okay, launch application, you will get prompted to upgrade um, online so we're going to choose OK and it, it has been upgraded right so here this is the trial version the second you can uh, purchase online and the third if you have a product key uh, you can enter that and continue with the full version but I'm going to choose the trial version for now so the first thing you want to do is enter your business name and location so here for me I'll put retail man POS and location AU. Um, we don't have to do these yet, we can come back to these options later, but for now we'll just do these and save. So what we want to do is choose maintenance and user settings. Here you will see the master user, this is you, the master user and the manager by default have full access so firstly we want to give the master user a password so click on security and for me I'll just do one because he's the first user here you can see the different access levels no access read only read write and full access because I'm the master user, I can have zero and it doesn't matter, regardless, I'll still remain um, with full access for all of these. Now you can go through here and choose your settings for each user. So we're going to save. Here we're going to choose manager. I'm going to do the password as number two and save. We don't have to go through any of these because manager has full access as well. Save and close. Here we will go to the second user who is the manager. I've typed the password two, okay. And here, as you can see, this user has full access as these are not greyed out we'll go back to user 1 the master user and then we'll go to maintenance user settings now these users assistant manager and users 1 to 4 um, are not set up so yeah we can choose user 1 and we'll go modify 
let's say you have a new employee his name is Jeff we'll save we'll give him a password password 4 and save because he's the fourth user here we'll go settings for Jeff um, this is um, extra uh, restrictions um, this is the interface uh, what they will see when they log in of course you have sales point of sales an email you can go through that and do that um, I'll choose interface here yeah, we want them to have big buttons and choose save close now we're going to log in as Jeff as you can see I've logged in as Jeff we haven't given him any permissions so he cannot access anything that's good if you would like to change back you have control F12 or user change user firstly we're actually going to go into the help file um, this is something that you should look at um, if you have errors so I'm going to press F1 and here we have the retail man help file it's got everything you need to know about the program in here if you're stuck um, simply press F1 and um, under FAQs this contains um, many many issues that may occur and how to resolve them um, so take a look at this um, or if you cannot find in this list what you're looking for you can go to search and you can enter what you're looking for a keyword I'll type error and as you can see here there is a list of um, options that come up um, that highlight uh, the word that you've used error which may help you to find what you're looking for much easier thank you for watching this tutorial video um, and we hope to see you in the next one thank you bye